Uh, this is a question to Mr. Myers. Um, in 2008, we were here as well. We had champagne as well. And uh, a couple of days later, uh, we heard other news. Uh, what are the assurances you give this time that the champagne will go on for some time? Um, okay. Since then, since then um, you've pro I don't know if you know the amount of work which has been going on. I would need to go into all the technical details, but I'd very quickly try to say what we've done. First of all, the thing which caused the problem nine days after your celebrations was uh, a joint, um, an interconnection between two magnets, which wasn't properly soldered. And this had a resistance of 220 nanoohms. There was one of them out of 10,000 on the machine. The other, there were several other things which were not quite correct. One of them was that the machine protection system was not sensitive enough, and I've already alluded to that today. We've made the machine protection system so sensitive now that even today when the, one of our injectors tripped, the machine protection system thought there was a quench and dumped the beam. So that's to let you know. The other thing is what you may ask is there are another 10,000 of these. How do you know there's not another one lurking there? Well, with the new machine protection system, which we've developed since 19th of September 2008, we have incorporated a measurement of the resistance of every single interconnect. And we've measured every single one of those at least twice until now. And the highest resistance we find is of the order of one nanoohm, so a factor of more than 200 below what the ones which caused the problem uh, 18 months ago. On average, they are around 0 0.3 nanoohms, which is a perfect value. So that's a long answer to your short question. I'm sorry. Thank you. This is Josep Corbella from La Vanguardia, from Barcelona. Um, in the next run, it's, it's a question somehow related to the previous one. In the next one, you plan to increase energies. Um, how likely do you think it is that you will get to 14 TeV, or is it? more likely that, that we, you will settle uh, somewhere some, uh, below that? Well, um, our aim, of course, is to go to the design energy, which is 14 TeV. We know that when we make the changes, which we will make during 2012, during the shutdown, from the point of view of these inter magnet interconnects, we will be able to go to 14 TeV center of mass. The other problem, which some of you may realize, is that the magnets um, had a tendency not to reach the values which they were tested to on the test beds. We know we can go to 6.5 TeV per beam with relative ease and of the order of 20 to 25 quenches per, per, um, per octant in order to train the magnets again. We're currently looking to see what it would need to get to 7, so we're convinced, totally convinced, without too much trouble we can go to 13 TeV center of mass, and I'm very confident we reach 14 um, after the beginning of 2013.